I'm Graham Steele, CEO and founder of CryptoSense. And today I'm going to show you what cryptography you can find in the most popular 50 base images available on the Docker Hub. So how do we find out this information? So at CryptoSense, we have a file system scanner for cryptography, looks around the file system and passes every file it finds as if it might be containing cryptography, such as PGP keys, SSH keys, X509 certificates, and so on. And everything it finds, it reports uh, here in the CryptoSense uh, Analyzer platform uh, after we upload the trace uh, from the scanner. And we recently made it possible to use that scanner to scan container images without having to actually run the image. So we're just looking at the image file. So we downloaded the 50 most popular images and we went ahead and scanned them. And this is an example of the kind of things that you can find. So here we have uh, all of the 50 uh, different projects that we scanned. And if we go ahead and just jump into one of these, so this is, for example, the Debian base image, you can see the traces that we uploaded with the artifacts in, the reports that we generated uh, on those artifacts. If I go ahead and dive right in there, I can see that we've got some interesting issues, such as old uh, public keys, some short RSA keys, short DSA keys. Uh, I can just go ahead and look at those. And uh, this is typical of the kind of things what we find is that a lot of these base images have a lot of legacy cryptography in uh, old archive files. Uh, so for example, a 1024-bit uh, DSA public key is really not considered secure now. Uh, so, of course, this isn't an immediate vulnerability, otherwise we wouldn't just be putting this uh, video uh, live on the internet. Um, but uh, if you're going to deploy a final image on the basis of this base image, this is typically the kind of thing you want to remove uh, for good crypto hygiene. And, and there's no real reason for that to be there, right? So you're not going to want to deploy an application that fetches itself a new Debian update on the basis of a 1024-bit uh, DSA key. Uh, we can also look at all of the keys that we found in there. And so uh, we can see all of them, classify them, uh, we see, fortunately, we only found public keys there, so we don't really want to find private keys on a, on a Docker base image. We can see the length of them, and we can see just, for example, all of the 1024-bit keys. Uh, and we can go ahead and, and remove all of those. You can see they're all quite old uh, PGP signing keys. We don't really need those anymore. Uh, and clean up and get ourselves a nice, clean uh, image for the applications that we wanted to deploy. So what other kind of stuff did we find? Well, as well as looking uh, into each project, you can also go into an organization level uh, keys tab here on the CryptoSense Analyzer platform. And now you can see all of the keys from all of the scans. Uh, so this is pretty interesting. So again, you can filter on different things. Uh, one thing we might wanna do is say, okay, well, what about the private keys? So it's interesting that there are eight private keys in these uh, 50 Docker base images. Uh, and each of these is in, uh, looks like they're all just in one uh, Docker scan. Uh, we can jump into those uh, and find them. So let's go into, um, well, let's go to this one. Uh, so this is a, uh, a key that's in uh, some um, example certificate that's in uh, tests. So we can check that that really isn't a certificate here. Uh, it's an Acme code certificate. So yeah, it definitely looks like a test certificate. It has its private key and it's self-signed. Uh, and so that's in there probably just to run some tests when we start up um, uh, the uh, Golang crypto. Uh, and so to make sure that we don't get warned about this every time, we can just add uh, this file path uh, to the exclusions when we're running the CryptoSense file system scanner, and then it won't pick up anything from in there uh, and put it into the inventory. So we can make sure that we're only seeing things which are uh, kind of worrying to us. Uh, so let's go back uh, to the top level again uh, and just look again at those keys. There's also some uh, um, other interesting things in here. So we can, for example, look at all of the 1024-bit uh, keys uh, that are in all of the scans. And we see that there are some of them are in several scans. So that's explained by those uh, PGP signing keys uh, for old uh, images. Uh, here's one that's only in one. So what's that in? Uh, that's in uh, Ghost, yeah. So the Ghost is a uh, Node.js-based um, content uh, management uh, platform. Uh, and it has a whole bunch of uh, test certs in it that come from uh, Node.js that it imports. So again, you can just add these uh, URLs in there and exclude those and make sure that if you do uh, find a private cert, that it really is something that you want to, uh, to fix. Uh, again, we can see all of the keys which are in Ghost. So Ghost also has a bunch of private keys in there. Uh, so we can see these, these are also sort of test uh, material from various different places. Uh, and again, we can uh, configure those out and, and get them removed. Uh, and then just to finish with uh, perhaps one of the most unusual keys that we found. Uh, so there, it's not just short keys, there are some, uh, some very long keys. So there's just one key here that's too uh, long for our normal uh, passing. 8,192-bit 8, uh, RSA keys. So that's going to take a long time to make uh, signatures. And it's actually um, the Apache Software Foundation uh, repository signing key. So I guess they wanted to be very sure they didn't have to recalculate that, uh, redrive that key again uh, in the future. So. 
This material you can get for free. There's a link right here under the video uh, to show you. You can sign up, uh, just put an email address, uh, any email address, uh, and you can uh, go ahead and view these uh, 50 scans. And even better, if you validate that email address, uh, you can upload your own traces using our file system scanner. So you can scan any container you want. So you can scan any of the base images, you can scan any of your own final images. And over the next few weeks, we're gonna show how you can integrate that kind of scanning uh, using our free uh, tooling uh, into your CICD pipeline, for example, to check that your final container images only contain the cryptography and that you really want to deploy. So thanks for your attention. Do subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with everything on uh, Applied Crypto here. And I hope to see you again soon here for another video. Thank mm -hmm. you.